Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. So today I figured I would review another movie I bought from the dollar store again. So yeah, that's going to be another dollar store video because like I said, uh, it's a movie. <sighs> Man, just not a good one, but still. Okay, so of course it's going to be a horror related because as far as I'm concerned, Halloween's a year-round thing for me, as I often said multiple times. So, this just seemed like something I was going to do anyway, because I like spooky movies in, to begin with. And I haven't reviewed a daughter store thing in a good minute or two. So, I just thought, eh, what the hell, let's get to it, I guess. So, okay, the film I'm going to be talking about today is the one titled The Scientist. So yeah, this is supposed to be one of these kinds of psychological thriller, scary movie type of uh, deal here, which in itself doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, really. I don't mind these kinds of horror movies, if, provided if they're done properly, which unfortunately this movie isn't. Because if it isn't, at the end of the day, it's boring. It's so slow. Ugh. And Christ, Mr. Monkey. Where are you? You're walking around again. How is it that you can do all of this, but you won't find work? Oh, Christ. You just like, you like to roam around a lot. I noticed that. I don't think I don't notice stuff here. You go all over the place. Christ almighty. Anyway. And FYI, I'm not doing this as an attempt to make doctors look bad. I'm not trying to do this to make nurses look bad. I know these type of people. I know when it comes to the kind of thing. I'm not. I'm speaking that in general terms because I know when it comes to being a doctor. I know when it comes to be a nurse. It comes in like in various positions. There's like various jobs that doctors do. There's various stuff that nurses do. It's not just all one encompassing thing. I know that. But I, I'm just trying to say I'm not reviewing this movie as an attempt to make these people look bad. Uh, that's not my goal here. I'm just talking. I'm just attempting to talk about trash. That's it. Anyway, as always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? <sighs> Whatever. So okay, in this movie, there is this unconvincing scientist named Steve. Let's just say he's one of these individuals, whom struggles to care for his uh, ill. Wife, who only has but a few weeks left to live because of this strange stuff that's been going on. However, while attempting to stay strong for his wife and, of course, 10-year-old daughter, Steve hastily embarks on this journey to develop a cure to fix this kind of thing, of course, and keep his family strong. However, of course... And knowing all the legal and moral boundaries in search for the said cure. His methods, however, of treatments, unless just attempting with human DNA, could make things even worse, I guess you would say, make things even more crazier. And maybe it won't help at the end of the day, but would it really? The fuck is this? It just comes off like a damn zombie movie. Is that what this is? Yeah, it just makes me feel like they're unable to make good movies when it comes to horror films, at least rarely these days. And I would like to see a zombie movie, a good one, be based upon Light Up Up Chainsaw. I'm not saying that they are at the moment or anything, but considering the state of horror movies, it just seems as though it's like it's not going to happen, or it's not a good one. And I want to see some good zombie movies, is what I'm trying to get at. And this game came out maybe all the way back when, 2012. Maybe just leave it in the past, I guess. Maybe that's probably the best way to do it. It's just as though many people these days, when it comes to cinema, they're not, they're not trying that hard. Even though something is actually has a good premise. When you think about it, just make it like a slaughter type of thing. Bunch of blood and guts and whatnot. Just having people get chopped in pieces with... Uh, chainsaw and whatnot that's pretty cool 
I mean, a good movie. I'm done, probably. Uh, I don't know anymore. Whatever. It's just that, if anything, this movie, one of my major complaints, well, one of many, but one of the biggest is that it takes forever to get started. It drags on. It is painfully slow. So it just makes me think this was just a pro prologue to the actual movie. Like it was chapter one. No, no, maybe scratch that. It was just the beginning part to get to chapter one. If this was a novel. Like that, maybe like the one bit before chapter one, maybe just to describe maybe specific events, maybe. I think chapter one's chapter one of a book really kicks in. I don't know, something like that, I guess. But that's what this feels like at the end day. This is what comes off as far as I'm concerned. But ultimately, it's just a complete snooze fest again. And that's the type of movie I'm talking about here. Again. Because I've done this before. Uh, so here I am again. Just talking with this nonsensical stuff. <sighs> Why does this have to exist? What am I doing? Mr. Monkey. Are you just exploring some more? Try some money. But you can't get a job. Okay, but you can't get a damn job, though. But you, you can do this shit. It's so annoying. But okay, you want to do this. All right, I guess I'll get back to you in just a moment, I reckon. Ugh. Yeah, this would have actually made a good build up to a more tragic, crazy event if the writing was better. Yes, the writing here was pretty awful in this movie, unfortunately. Which is great, my gears, because, yes, obviously, the unfortunate thing is that the horror films are often labeled as just trash, and movies like this isn't helping. I mean, yes, it's a biased perspective. But then we have garbage like this. Just fills in this right into stereotype when it comes to these types of movies. Come on. Some of the acting is actually kind of okay on some parts. And yes, I know the individuals behind the production, the actors and actresses, I mean, are doing their best with what they have here. Because it's their job, really. But that's the thing, though. What they have here isn't particularly great like at all it just seems like the scriptwriter was just in care mr monkey where are you you're still going around in some weird places but okay you're still doing some weird here okay i'm just trying to talk about how the direction seemed kind of stupid and how the dialogue isn't particularly great and you just keep getting in the way seriously get a job Gah. Yeah, man. <clears throat> this movie tries really hard. It tries really hard to be better than what it is. And just, unfortunately, it falls short in what it's trying to do here. Yes, the director, uh, just maybe everybody involved, is trying to make this at least halfway decent. Because you could, obviously there's some kind of effort being done here. But the way it's choreographed, the way it's choreographed here is actually kind of solid, really. The way it's choreographed is actually kind of nice. The editing is passable. The editing is, isn't anything outstanding, but the editing gets its job done. So that's kind of something as well. And it's just that it just falls short. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't offer nothing new. It doesn't offer anything brand new when it comes to this genre. It does feel like Bendale done that, ultimately. So yes, there might be some effort in some areas of the movie, but ultimately what ruins the entire experience for me is that the plot itself is dull. It's dull as, it's like watching paint dry, so to speak. Oh, definitely. Uh, seriously, Mr. Monkey, you again? Just go and get. No, seriously, go and get. Looks like the place you're in seems abandoned. You better get out of there. <sighs> in case there's some weird shit going on in there. Probably had. Probably there had been some weird shit going on over there by this point. Anyway, I guess I'll get back to you in a minute, I guess. Whatever.
So also, my major problem here is that, like I was saying a moment ago, is the pacing. The pacing really kills the movie as well. Because there's not a whole lot of happening right away. And when something does happen, it's like, okay, that was it? Are you serious? But okay, whatever. I do realize that the people behind this movie were attempting to make the main character seem like a really nice guy. Okay, sure, you make him relatable. Like, he has his own life. At least he attempted to have his own life. It's just that things didn't exactly go the way he wanted. Because, okay, sure, sure, these things happen. You can make that relatable, too. Things don't always go the way you want it. That could be relatable in some ways, sure. Even when you felt like you figured everything out. But of course, life has a way of throwing a curve bar at you and just smacks you in the head. Oh boy, such is life, I guess. Try to relax your anus. Your shoulders. You are such a fucking weirdo. I got some for you. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay, I'm not exactly done here. Here we go. Come here, you little bastard. Ha. So, anywho. The screenplay for this movie does attempt to be really, really sensitive when it comes to the main character's dying wife, which, of course, can be really appreciated because... It could be really horrible for a husband to go through this experience because he wants to help his wife, like any loving husband would. He just wants to be there and wants to do practically anything and everything within his power to make sure she's she's safe in if whatever she, in whatever he can do for. Her. And okay, and of course she'll be stressed out like any normal human being would obviously so there's that of course but uh so ultimately is the execution i guess in a way ugh yes of course as you can see i'm really i was really attempting to like this movie i really wanted to enjoy it but i couldn't because it's the way it was delivered the overall premise of it so anyway I'll give this film a Nova rating of a 4.8 out of 10. It's a 4.8 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later. Ugh. I need a drink. That's it. I'm going to Wendy's. They do have like a new type of drink from time to time. Oh, I guess I'll check that out. Oh yeah. I went, I'll go to their Wendy's, I mean. Twitter on, on, from time to time. Oh, yeah, okay. That's funny. All right, I'm getting distracted. See you. Whatever.